consists of three parts where is the scholarship amount the retreat and the community i feel the most important part of it was the community itself because you meet of so many people who are like like minded and they are so willing to help that this becomes a uh, cherry on the top then we have the scholarship amount which is a 1000 us dollars that you get next you have the retreat which is a whole lot of sessions that are conducted for resume building or meeting people at google knowing about their work culture interacting with fellow scholars and a whole lot of other things and then of course there is the community so we remain in touch throughout the year we contact each other frequently there are sessions that are held throughout the year and yeah you can ask google fellows and other people working google for any query that you might have larika you could go on so the major criteria is that need to be satisfied for being eligible for this particular scholarship is that you need to be a female in her second or first year in this academic year and you need to be uh, related to a uh, technical field and have a strong academic record uh, next slide uh so what they're looking for is people who would motivate others to join tech and especially women who would bring in more uh people belonging to underrepresented groups uh so the technical acumen is a given criteria apart from that you need to be highly motivated and have uh, some leadership quality to bring in more people to tech yeah next slide uh so first and second years undergraduates uh, in the apac region the countries included are mainland china hong kong macau taiwan and india next slide uh so the questions they change every single time uh for our year the retreat was a virtual retreat and probably given the circumstances uh, this year's retreat would probably be virtual again but hoping for the best uh so next slide uh the application has three sections one is your personal details and everything second is your uh, academic record uh, your transcripts from 12th standard if you're a first year student and your transcripts from your first year if you're a second year student uh then apart from that there's your resume and two essay questions that you need to answer and uh, we'll be discussing this particular section in depth today brinda um so i would say probably like the most important aspect of your application would be your essay questions because like that is something which like a google employee would read and like this is something which would like you know because they get like thousands of applications and like they shortlist you on the basis of like what you've written on your essays and like again like your resume okay so like for essay like my first advice would be to like structure your essay really well like you should have like a clear goal in mind and you should strictly adhere to like the page limit i think that is like 400 words this time if i'm not wrong but ha huh, like most important is ki like you should make sure ki you have written it well like writing skills to some extent are important like what you're writing how you are presenting yourself and what you're sharing theek hai another important thing to keep in mind is ki don't make it too complicated because they would be reading like thousands of essays so you don't want to include too complicated english which is like difficult to them like difficult for them to understand so you are not trying to impress them using your english but you are trying to impress them by telling them ki like you know these are the things which i'm talking about or these are the things which inspire me so you would want to convey that more um last year they also had like some videos which you could submit but i do not think we have that this year um so the general like structure which you would want your essay to be that you would start with like a basic introduction and you go with the main body and then you have the conclusion so this is like the basic uh, like structure you could follow and so just sorry um i think we can if you want like we can look through the questions and like see what exactly like i could give you some examples to what you could cover so the first question is please give us one example of how you have exhibited leadership explain what you were trying to achieve your role how you influence others and the impact as a result of your actions okay so the main like the main intention of your essay is that you sort of trying to sell yourself and you're trying to tell them that yes i am worthy of this like you know scholarship so not only do they want somebody who is like good in tech they also want to see some sort of leadership skills or they want to see you know some sort of initiative that you are passionate about the thing which the scholarship stands for like you know every day we do see so many instances where women are like maybe they are very underprivileged so you 
need to be passionate about this and like passionate about what you write in your essay so with the leadership skill like they just sort of want to know that you're taking initiative in like whatever you're doing it can be anything it can be like a part of like any club or any activity which you were part of or something which you did so anything general um and like you know like whatever you're trying to achieve and how what you were trying to do like did it have an impact and like how did it have an impact so one very important thing which i would say is ki make sure to never lie on your essays because you know when you're lying it is something which they can very easily tell so you should be as honest as you can and like make sure that your essay is not very generic in the sense ki you know like you can like google quotes from somewhere or write those things they're not there to like look at quotes or whatever they're there to understand you so you have to make sure that the essay is personal to you and you are trying to share something which you feel strongly about okay so um the next part is that think broadly and examine many ways you are having an effect on the member of different communities you are a part of so here like they are specifically targeting you know like minority and it can be any community it doesn't have to be like the community of women or like like tech in general but it can be any general example so as i said they want to get an idea of your leadership skills of your initiative and keep in mind the example you choose does not need to be a formal or tradition yeah exactly what i said that it does not need to be it it doesn't have to be that oh i was the president of this club that is why i have this example so that like okay you were a president of this club or you were like you know uh, like head head girl in school but that does not exactly convey your point what you would want is to be as personal as you can and like sort of you know share as ma- as many stories as you can and like accordingly give an example and then the second question is like what is the significant challenge that you believe women in tech industry face and how do you see yourself as being part of the solution to this challenge so when i was you know writing my essays the one thing which i knew was to like you know be as personal as possible and like when you talking about challenges okay like everybody like all of us know like you know general challenges which women face like even if you google you find a lot of articles but like my biggest advice would be to sort of include examples from your life or like something which you have witnessed yourself which maybe you know strongly motivated you moved you in some way to you know do something about okay and like yeah again it doesn't have to be any specific challenge but it can be anything in general so i would say that before moving forward uh, we had a lot of doubts regarding essays so if you have any doubts like please feel free to send them in the chat um right now if you want or maybe we can also take questions at the end of the session so i think maybe i think we can take sessions at the end of the question let's briefly go through everything so i hope this clarified some of the questions but we'll be happy to help at the end okay so the second most important part of your application is your resume my most important tip for a resume would be make sure to not exceed one page so this is something which like all our seniors and mentors have also told us but they look at your resume for 15 20 seconds and if your resume is like two pages they probably would not even look at the second page because they get thousands of applications so with your resume your main emphasis should be ki this is my achievements which i want to highlight and this is my achievements which i want to share with you right so i am sort of selling myself to a googler like whoever is looking at my resume so say if i have like three achievements a b and c and i know that like achievement b is something which i feel is relevant so like another important thing is ki whatever you include it should be sort of you know relevant in the sense to the scholarship don't ever feel that your achievement might not be big enough or like i know a lot of like uh, like participants here feel like they're just in first year they probably don't have anything significant to add like don't feel that way be confident in yourself and it doesn't even have to be something related to college itself okay it can be anything which you did in school and it doesn't have to be achievements it can be any online courses which you're taking or any courses which you're doing or anything like that and maybe like activities related to school everything does not have to be tech as well so google itself understands that you're not just like you know technical robot who's blindly just doing something tech and you don't have any you are not interested in ex- any extra curricular activity so it can be anything it can be related to the drama society and all of these things so just add things which you feel are relevant and which define you as a person okay so be direct don't like r- write long sentences okay and make sure that you get this one page so you utilize it effectively you should try not to waste a lot of space i would recommend go with a two column resume format because that helps you like organize your information really well and make sure that your headings are clear and concise so that 
you know there is a good emphasis on the points which you want to highlight and maybe you can even like when you're explaining a project or anything you can even bold out the important thing don't make it colorful because like i would not suggest adding more than two three colors but yeah like black and white would also work but make sure that you know even if i look at 15 20 seconds i get a brief idea ki okay these are the things which you want to highlight or these are the things which you want to talk about theek hai and like again like focus on all round growth so everything does not have to be technical related and make sure that there are no grammatical errors so that is very important like ki you know proof read your resume again like one size fits all is very wrong so you do not send out the same resume to different companies you are applying to you tailor your resume depending on where you are applying so if you are applying to the google generation scholarship you will have to decide ki okay this project is more relevant or this project is more important to me which is something which i want to show them right so try to cut down like do not exceed two pages this is like one page this is something which i am emphasizing on again and again and don't like write make it too wordy like be concise be short and i think that is the general tip i would like to tell you another um if you guys are having trouble like there's overleaf which has a lot of very good one page resume formats which is something you can look at or if you're not like familiar with latex you can like i think there are a lot of online tools which you can use so simply like use a template and like that's it um so i think you guys also have like a google challenge so this challenge is like for everybody who has submitted the application like the wtm application and these this is sort of to get an idea of your technical ability so the um like essays focus more on your leadership skills and like how like your values and things like that but this challenge gets a rough idea of your technical abilities like data structures operating systems computer organization c++ and oop like these were the concepts which are asked from us okay so i know like from first year a lot of you might not know these things but you should keep in mind that it's not just you right or everybody in india does not know these things because everybody's um college started this year only so that's okay like you are competing with people your age only you're not competing with like you know seniors or somebody who is very like so in the field but i would still recommend like first focus should be your application but as soon as your application is over i would focus you to like i would recommend ki like do revise these concepts like a little bit like whatever you can understand you should like if you don't know operating systems computer organizations if you just like a first year student so that's okay like i'm pretty sure they would also understand that i think even when ananya was like ananya gave the exam she did not know operating systems and all right she was also a first year so i think that's okay you don't have to know everything but like yeah like if you have time do revise and do prepare for it a little so uh, one thing was that like the exam has a lot of questions and i think you just have 30 minutes so like don't waste your time like like googling or whatever like don't do that but yeah like so make sure that you are sitting like in a quiet place and just do that paper as quick as you can because if you don't know any question don't get stuck on it because there would be a lot of questions which you would know so you should try ki i am attempting all the sections and i think there is no negative marking so you can attempt like all the questions as well so that's the basic like tip i would say um so the interview process is something which i would not focus on too much but one thing which is very relevant right now is that whatever you write on your essay or whatever you write on your resume that is something which you should be able to explain very well in your interview because the interviewer would look at your essays and he he or she would look at your resume and they will ask you question related to that and you know in an interview it is very relevant if you you are lying or if you're not being honest about something and that is an impression which you don't want to give to google right because they do maintain a like a profile of you and they will have like okay this person applied here and they would have your resume stored so you do not want to lie to them just be genuine like again in your essays make sure you're writing things which you are passionate about like things you feel strongly about okay and be thorough with whatever you write in the application like and do not exceed the page limit and an interview is like a conversation only so i think within one or two weeks of the um technical exam we got a call that we'll have an interview at this this time we were scheduled and initially i feel like all of us were very nervous because that was like we were very young and that was the first interview but um it's a very like it's a very good opportunity first of all to talk to a googler and i don't think it focuses too much on the technical detail it's more about like focusing on you and like 
how you are like what you believe in so prepare basic questions like you know who i am introduction to myself and like general things like that and then like build up from there but like yeah um, your essay and your resume does have an impact here as well so make sure that you're being completely honest and you're focusing on things which are important to you so uh, i think later if you do qualify till the inter interview then you can like feel free to reach out to any of us and then we'll be happy to help you there um okay so um, yeah so like this is the general tip like all of us have sat for placements now and like we, we are very familiar with like interviews or like resumes so again your resume needs to be very clear crisp and concise do not write full sentences in a resume you can try to avoid that you should try to write it in bullet points okay and you should like spend some time in the essay question you know don't just like be like ki i'll sit for half an hour and then it would be done so like take a pencil like pen or pencil paper and write down the rough outline of the things which you want to mention maybe think about it ki like okay so like think up because you know even if you feel like you don't have anything to write about you are like 18 19 years old and there are a lot of experiences you might have had which you don't remember that clearly but like you can if you think about them and think about all the ideas okay and um avoid last minute rushes i think there is this like one week left for the app like application so we held the session so that if you have any doubts like feel free to ask us but i would recommend you start with your essays as soon as possible do not rush it and like you can ask your parents to review it or maybe you can ask like you know other your friends to see look at the interview and they give you pointers on how to improve it okay and then again most importantly don't lie or don't like embellish don't add quotes or like things like that because that is something which they don't want to see cool um so this was just a photo from our retreat and good luck for your application i think this was a basic introduction a lot of you might be familiar with women in tech scholarship now that take like, sorry google generation scholarship because like we are so late into the application process now we will focus more on the questions so if you have any questions like feel free to send them in the chat or um unmute and ask so technical exam is around Seven eight days later, if I Larika would be happy. We have a mail about the Google Challenge in a week about after your application is done, and probably in two weeks you'll have your uh, technical exam. So yeah, at at max two weeks. So uh, sticking to the word limit, I would say is very important because they do get so many applications, and they would not spend more than a limited time. on your essay so if you are exceeding the word limit then you might reduce the impact factor because they would not want to you know spend a lot of time on it so i would say keep strictly strict to the deadline mm -hmm. and in our case it was all mcq so we had all mcq but i am i think same would be true for you also they would probably give you a rough structure as to what would the syllabus be and how which type of questions would be there um we also had like a lot of questions in the google form so maybe we can go through them also uh so uh, we covered upon how to write essays like um do you guys want to like do you have any doubts in specific regarding essay writing or is it a more like do you have more clarity now um i think i could take up the questions that were there yeah. in the form one by one that i have not been covered so one question is that is this scholarship for post graduates as well um, um i no larika go ahead it's fine uh, this scholarship has always been for uh, first and second year females uh, undergraduate females so yeah in this way that's true okay then the next question is are incoming google interns eligible to apply for the scholarship the step in terms are uh, the ones who have who are in their second years and got the step in terms the ones who are in their third years and would be interning in their uh, coming summer and also eligible for this interview um then one question is about uh, resumes which asks that uh, what could be mention a uh, non tech achievements in our resumes and essays and what should be the right balance between non tech achievements or activities and tech or academic achievements 
uh, be sure to not mention a lot of the non technical achievements like some be sure to mention your leadership roles because that is going to come into play in this particular essay part of your application part of your uh, uh, thing and uh, you can add uh, maybe mm-hmm. some non technical achievements something like you went to this space in one something but uh, adding leadership roles is important and i think writing three three non technical achievements is all right but uh, we sure to not exceed a lot i would say yeah you should mention some of the non tech achievements like if you have space you can even mention your interest like but again don't exceed the number 3 so like again with projects don't exceed the number 3 so like three projects is a good number don't exceed that and you can again shortlist like what projects you write want to write and same with the non tech achievements so like you know if you have a lot of things events you participated in in school so you can focus on what would be more suited for this scholarship and then accordingly shortlist and add that also for the first years guys i know you don't have many projects so you can always mention the projects that you did in your courses however small they might be but they are significant and also if you did cs in 11th and 12th feel free to mention those too yeah in fact uh, i'd like to add upon that uh, many of the first years are like uh, a bit worried about the google challenge like what would be asked and if they'll know and how would they be compared so it's a peer review uh, you will only be compared against your the first years and we all know that they all stand in the same boat as you guys do so um, there's no thing to worry about ke google challenge mein agar maine kam question kiye to doesn't matter because baaki ne bhi kam kiye honge and uh, resume pe yeah just like ananya said be sure to mention your uh, 11 12 uh, achievement since uh, first years has just started uh, their college um there's a question in the chat ki like my resume isn't that well built up i just have a few projects so i feel like that's okay like even if you have a few projects i feel like that is really good because i know people who don't have any projects okay like i would say that don't hesitate to apply or don't feel like that you know maybe my resume is not good enough i won't get selected or anything like that and then stop yourself for applying i feel like you should definitely apply and i think like even a few projects is good enough you should have a clear understanding of what those projects are and you should like mention them briefly and very concisely in the resume and highlight the important points like maybe some project was like you know related to python so you can add some keywords there that this was in like python or data structures it was about that and basic bs algo um, knowledge and all would be very good yeah as far as i can remember the ds and algo questions were like one liners so you had you just had to choose a basic approach which would be right or a data structure which would be apt so i mean even looking through it above say you will do your do your podcast yeah um bhavya um, yeah, yeah there is one very specific question about uh, the essay question on leadership roles so the question says does the leadership role we have to describe in the essay have to be related to cs or can it be something like starting a club which is not uh, strictly related to cs like quizzing it doesn't have related like it doesn't have to be related to cs at all but like you, like you know when trying to so if you have like maybe two or three leadership like roles which you're trying to decide within you should emphasize more on which has the bigger impact so the cs part they're focusing on the second question so the first question can be not related to technical side at all so it can be anything like it doesn't have to be cs but you should try to focus more on a leadership role which has maybe more impact or which like you know portrays you ki it basically sells you well to them i would say and the technical exam is same for all the students like first years and second years both have the same exam Uh, another question is um yeah how can um the applicants make their achievements stand out in the application process using their essay answers or their resume and basically how does one stand out from the rest of the applicant pool um so like i like to like take that or should i okay so uh, one thing i would say ki the way to stand out from rest of the application pool first most important thing is be honest 
and you know when you're writing the essay questions or like you know like try to bring in examples from your own like life into it make it try to make it personal so that they can sort of understand you and like what you're trying to say because a lot of students would be like you know maybe not that good at writing or just like google generic stuff and write that down so i would like highly recommend to not do that like make sure i i remember in my essays i like try to include as many personal examples as i could because i want them like you want them to know that you're being as honest and as genuine as you are so be honest i feel like honesty is the best tool to stand out in like the pool of interviews um bhave what was the first part i forgot how they could uh, achieve that using their resume and their essays how yeah. could this stand out so um like with the resume i would say like make sure that it's concise make sure that it it is highlighting all the parts you wanted to highlight so if you have like again as i mentioned that if you have three projects a b and c and if you want to highlight the second project more so like maybe put it like at the top of the resume like because an inter like an inter a person would like probably look at it for 15 20 seconds and they would go to the next essay so you just have like 15 20 seconds to like capture their attention and highlight all of the important points which you want to mention um if you have anything to add larika nina um no i know i think so those okay. were the questions from the form so if uh, the participants have any other questions we encourage you to ask them Yeah, this is an ask me anything session. So, like, it's just to clarify your doubts or anything else. So, don't be hesitant. Feel free. Even if you have any specific questions pertaining to your application, those are welcome too. so i one thing which i would like to talk about is that if you're first year like you're not even done with your first semester right so um like we even talk to dhani regarding this like who is in charge of the the like the google generation scholarship and like she mentioned that like rather than including your gpa you can include the school achievements so even if you don't have any projects or anything in particular you can highlight the projects from your school even if you did not have computer science in school that does not like it does not mean that you don't you can't apply it, right so maybe like as a first year student i'm like this is not like a hard and fast rule but maybe as a first year student i could mention the courses which i am doing and like i could mention that you know these are the courses which interest me and focus more on like what i actually achieved in school like maybe if i was part of some club or i part participated in any inter school activities or things like that so you can always write those in your application even ananya was telling me that like when she was doing her resume she wrote like two of her schools projects or schools activities and then just one was from college so that's okay chela rika you were saying something uh, uh in fact uh, there was one thing i wanted to point out uh, they are not looking for highly skilled students for this scholarship they're looking for people who can motivate others to join tech and especially women to join tech because of the underrepresented uh, part so you don't need to be really in fact uh, people have been fidgeting about ki online challenge mein acche number aane chahiye ya questions sahi ho jane chahiye that is not a major criteria for this the most important thing if i were to rank would be essay uh, then your resume then your telephonic interview and then would be the google challenge because they just want to know that you are in the tech field they just want, want to get an idea of how um how much you're in that particular area but that's not a criteria for you to get this scholarship so be sure to not worry about that too much and just really really focus on your essays because that's going to be that's going to help you a long way for this scholarship in fact your technical interview is going to be 
going to be based on what you wrote in the essays and uh, again uh, i think brinda mentioned it really well ke bilkul bhi don't lie or uh, do anything that you don't believe in because they're going to see it right through and even in your telephone conversation uh, they'll ask questions about that and if you have lied about something um it they're professionals they uh, they're doing their job they know what's true what you actually believe in so yeah and another thing i would like to mention that yes you can mention ongoing projects that is completely fine but you just have to make sure that whatever project you're mentioning you should be able to explain it well so even if in the interview they would not focus too much on the technical details but they can still ask you about your projects and ask you to explain so if you're stuttering then or if you're not confident about you know the technologies used or something like that then that can send a really bad impression or maybe it can take even make them feel that you are lying on your resume so you have to make sure that whatever projects you're mentioning you're 100% confident on them and you can answer any question anybody asks another thing i wanted to mention when people write essays they mostly tend to include statistics there but everybody knows about the statistics it's always better that you include personal stories and things from your life so I guess we'll wait five more minutes. Is there any other question? Selected after the application or after the technical interview? Interview. Okay, so you get a a thousand dollar scholarship. Um. you mean when you are selected after your interview right so you will get a thousand dollar scholarship you will get to be a part of the community in fact i have a, we all have a group and we are really active on that particular group so that is good thing plus you get a great deal of mentorship from google employees i remember we had a mock interview the second year we had a mock interview for our placement or oh, sorry internship preparation and that helped a lot and uh, they continuously help you and uh, you know encourage you to participate in kickstart and they provide you with resources for uh, um moving on in your like improving on your technical capabilities so yeah in fact that is the most important thing that i took away from this entire scholarship um another thing i would mention like like to mention is that as college students i feel like a lot of us do have like imposter syndrome that maybe i'm not good enough for the scholarship or i'm not good enough for this company i would say like getting the scholarship really helped me overcome that because like you know the sessions they do they like try to focus more on you getting more confident about yourself and like believing in yourself so like if you are getting this application or even if you're not getting it honestly like even if you apply to some company you don't get in that does not like determine it. like that does not say anything about your technical skills a lot of it is like luck and a lot of it is the effort you put in at that time so that does not mean that you cannot put in the same effort later so like that is something very important which i learned through the scholarship that even if i do get some, something or don't get something it's okay because there would always be like more opportunities in the future <laughs> any other questions and we necessarily have to stick to one page resume we can't extend it right like yeah i would not recommend it at all because with 99 99% certainty i can say they would not go to the next page i like they would look at the first page only so there is no point of adding that second page there um if you don't get the scholarship i would say like improve in terms of placements or just like in general would like improve i would say this, i um like <laughs> okay so uh, usually the companies don't tell you the shortcoming uh i would say this is very unrelated to placement 
in general but uh, like in general if you want to improve like the only reason why you would not get in the scholarship is maybe because you did not present yourself well like either you did not have enough initiative like which they are looking for which is completely fine like you can work on that like i don't think technical skills is a like technical skills is a any classifier like i know people who are very better than me in tech and they did not get in so that does not say anything about how much you know i think a lot of it is also luck ki whatever like you know application clicks with them or whatever because they only select i think 42 like people all over india so there is a lot of competition so i don't think even if you get it or don't get it i don't think that says anything about you or your skills in general or who you are as a person so do not take it personally a lot of interviews we have done really bad in like we let them affect us at that time but like at later like later at a later stage when we think about it we realize that they didn't really matter so that's a general advice that i would have also since we have time the transcripts i ask you a question about the transcripts so you said you adarika mentioned something about the pdf so we have to download the you can download the erp pdf uh, if i'm not wrong erp does have an option to download the PDF. yeah yeah it does all right thanks for that and secondly you people mentioned in the beginning that we have to uh, submit our first year grades does that include the third semester that is yeah uh, it does it does so three Later. semester worth of results yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Just like whatever latest CGPA you have. Yeah. Uh, you are in your semester, and uh, many of you would not have any uh, results or transcripts from your college. So be sure to include the transcripts from your twelfth standard, your CBSC transcript. i would say the only thing which they're looking for is like people who are passionate about tech and they're serious about tech so i think the only reason why they do ask for transcripts and all is something ki you do like maybe take your like grades and stuff seriously like you do put in some effort even though you're not you might not be like you know the topper of your college or whatever so yeah. I think we'll wait a couple of more minutes. Uh, if you have any more questions, just ask them. Also, like how many of you have not started with your applications? I mean, I would say that we just um, when is the deadline? I think it's in seven days. Right? I am not. Third 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 first, I guess. Hmm. So I would say that start with your twenty. Um, it's on twenty nine. So start with your essays and like try to like maybe if you haven't started yet, like maybe spend like two days on getting the rough structure and then like maybe writing them. Don't make it too complicated again, as I mentioned, and make iteration. So you would want that since the word limit is four hundred words, uh, you don't want that you include a lot of unnecessary stuff. So you really need to structure your essay as well and just keep it up format of uh, starting in starting with a brief introduction then coming on to the main important points and then again uh, as we pre previously mentioned uh, be sure to include personal experiences something that happened to you something you saw happen to anyone because that gives a pers very personal touch to your essays and that actually helps them know what you are and what you believe in as an individual also if i could add a very general advice for all sorts of applications that would be that whenever you are writing your application you should write the first pass quickly and then focus on getting it reviewed by others as soon as you can and iterating over it again and again don't strive for perfection in the very first go when you are uh, sitting and writing it Okay, so I guess we do not have any more questions. Um, 
Thank you, Sulanta. Thank you so much, guys, for being so patient, and thank you so much for attending. Bye. It's okay, right? Thank you, Sulanta. We could wait for another. Like, yeah, if you wanna like say that ask some questions, like please say so that we'll we're on call for five more minutes. Also, since we want a short resume, so we don't have to actually include the technical electives part of the stuff into mm -hmm. our resume, right? Mm -hmm. Because the transcripts they already have, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great. So I did mention a few courses which are very important, but obviously we could skip that too. It depends on how much like space you have in your resume and what you want to prioritize. If you want to prioritize some projects more. and feel free to do that you don't even have to mention the courses you have but yeah again that's your decision like if you want to emphasize on some courses which are very interesting to you then you can always mention them in the resume There is a question in the uh, chat box from Amolika. Non-science background in the sense, uh, you are from commerce or humanities. I am guessing that. You can apply. I think. You can apply. Yeah. You just need to be in a technical degree. Like your yeah. degree is going to be computer science and something plus X, right? so uh, you can apply for that i guess if your degree yeah did you mention the j and no i didn't mention my j rank but if you have a, yeah. if you have an exceptional rank you can what qualifies as an exceptional rank i mean if you think it's good then feel free to mention yeah. but if you don't have anything better then feel free to mention i think like in my first year i used to mention it but then i was like no i did not mention it semester what the day means what the rank i mentioned the advance for the rank but i did hmm it shouldn't be like your resume is like empty you know like so you should have some things in it Okay, so uh, they do ask questions from C, C plus plus, and uh, I am not. I was not uh, well equipped with that those two languages at that time. Uh, so it really doesn't matter because there's a there's going to be a lot of questions to attempt from, and yeah. even if you don't know them, you don't need to worry about that. Um, and if you're a first year student, then so you. actually don't need to worry about the google challenge at all because everyone i know in the first years are either in the what are either in the okay so you are in second year what gave you an edge over the other students i think the essays yeah i would say that too i think i was weirdly proud of my essay because i felt like Like maybe not at that time, but at late, like at a later stage, I was very like weirdly proud of my essay key because I tried to include as many personal experiences as I could, and I think that was the one thing which really helped my application from like the thousands of goals who did apply. Yeah. So in fact, I knew people who attempted the Google Challenge a lot better than what I did, but I I also read a few essays of my friends, and like that gave me after I was selected. for the scholarship and it gave me a weird sense of satisfaction after just reading my essay again <laughs> so yeah be sure to work really well on your essay and i think that is going to be the deal breaker for this uh, particular scholarship 
Like you you said you weren't very familiar with C slash C++, but you still must have mentioned that you're familiar with it in your resume. That doesn't matter, right? Like we can say that I'm familiar with this language. Um, so, don't lie on your resume. Yeah. No, but we do know to some degree, but not to an exceptional. So if way. you're mentioning it on your resume, feel free to answer questions. Like, because they would look at your resume while they're interviewing you. And if they ask you a question specific to a particular thing and you're not able to answer, then that might send a really bad impression. So it won't be like they're asking you very complicated C, C++ stuff. But if you're mentioning it, they would like expect you to know basic program programming in that. Like, or in my interview, they did not ask me any technical stuff, I think. But no, no, no. Uh, they asked me about my a particular project that I wanted to describe about, but I think uh, that is fairly simple. If you know what you did in your projects, uh, the interviewer, the telephonic conversation is going to be with someone who is in, I don't know what is that. Who it's is HR. Yeah. Then they are they are not technical people. They just want to. Uh, a broad overview of what you did in that project, basically. Yeah, yeah. But if you're lying, they would know. <laughs> yeah, they would know if you're lying. I don't think that will be possible. Yeah, really sorry about that, but yeah. Yeah, we won't be able to take care of it. But any general tips uh, we've conveyed here, if you want to ask about some particular points if they should be included in your essay be free to ask us personally as well. Say uh, hobbies like writing and reading, they are like pretty obvious from your ab things that you've mentioned above, like positions of responsibility and stuff. So we don't need to make a separate section for that, right? That could mm -hmm. be skipped. If you have a very if you have a numerous number of sections that you're covering up and your resume is taking up a lot of space, you can skip through some sections uh, which are not very important as like hobbies and all. Uh, but your resume should give a like, um, like substantial all rounded like it should leadership be roles, leadership yeah. roles, some technical uh, acumen, and uh, yeah and passion about tech and motivating people yeah <laughs> where can we get them critiqued from if it's not a problem could you send your resume to us if that's uh, we're not allowed to Achha, yeah. all right yeah Rinda, can you look at the chat um, so, like, probably ask your parents, I would say they would, like, be the maximum help, like, in general, or just use Grammarly and ask your friends. I would, that's, or maybe, like, some seniors you're close friends with, you can ask them. Like, I am sure they would be happy to help you. Ask your seniors you're close with, I would say, or your friends. Not your friends. I, mean, I wouldn't say friends. I mean, like, friends who you know, are, like, probably, I don't know, yeah, probably not your friends. Your seniors. Your seniors. Don't share your essay with people who you know are applying, I would say. Don't do that. <laughs> Do you guys have any other questions? I think we can stay till seven and then we land. Yeah.
I think there are a few people who have just joined. So for them, uh, the session uh, started on 6. So we have been recording it. And we will let you know if uh, the recording will be available. Mostly it will be. And if you have any specific questions about the application, then you can ask. OK, there is a question in the chat box from Khushi. So I would like um, probably talk about, like, I'll maybe mention my example, like what I wrote. I think the question was something related to what has inspired you, like maybe women in general in tech. So I remember, like, going to the summer camp, and I saw a lot of you know girls. Like, there were very few girls, and there were a lot of, like, so these kids were from government schools. And there were a lot, like very few girls and a lot of guys. So a lot of guys used to cut the girls or maybe not give them that much attention. And so I like talked about that example and how that like really, you know, like because that is something which happened with me and I experienced it firsthand. So I wrote about that. So I would say examples like this or any example which you think is relevant. It can be like related to your family, your friends, anything you've experienced in school, anything like that. Um, so I'll maybe also give a few examples regarding the essay question. So in the first is like how you've exhibited leadership. So that can be anything related to maybe a club you have you're a part of, or like it can be a club you're a part of, or any you know post you held, or anything in general. Or it doesn't even have to be anything you know a leadership role in particular. It can be just some sort of initiative you took. Okay, so maybe I did this thing and this really inspired me. A leadership does not have to be leadership in like technical terms. It can be anything. Like maybe I motivated my friend to stand up for herself, or I th that is also a very good leadership role, and it uh, does explain like what you're trying to say, right? So it doesn't have to be anything big. Even if it impacted one person, I would say that would be a very strong example to include. In fact, you can also include examples uh, from not just to you, uh, just something that happened to you or you did, uh, something that someone else did and that also motivated you, you can also include that if you're running out of examples. I'm just, I would just say ki, try to make sure that you're not writing generic examples from the internet, like especially yeah. in the second question when they're asking me what are the challenges which women face. So obviously you can mention about some general challenges. Ki, this is what I feel, but the best idea to approach that would be to include some personal examples. Ki, this is what I have experienced. This is what I have seen somebody experience. It can be anybody. It can be a senior or it can be something online also. But do make it as personal as possible because there's like a story you're trying to tell. So if it's like an essay which I can just like find information from Google firm, like something like that. So that would not really, yeah, I won't like that too much. And I think that was something which is common in all of our essays that we all of us included some personal details or personal experiences in the questions that you are answering. So that's probably why we were standing out. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And just be genuine. Like it shouldn't be like you're making up examples because you know I feel like that is something which they would be able to tell very easily if you're lying about something. Even if you feel like I am portraying it as honestly as I like, you know. But yeah. And just to put like a very basic advice that's relevant to every interview that you apply to after the application uh, is done, do not think about it and do not ask people, oh, tune kya likha, oh, tune kya likha. Do not do that. <laughs> just be your brain. Yeah. No. <laughs> After how much time do they give back the result? Like, so how much time of torture? OK, so what happened with us, I'll tell you. Uh, we submitted our application around two. After two weeks, we had our Google challenge. After a week, 
of that we came to know that we were selected for our interviews a week after that we had our interviews and a month after that we were declared the scholars so it's roughly a two two and a half months long uh, procedure horrible <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying do not think of just uh, once you're done with it just forget that it happened basically apply wherever you can apply and then forget about it yeah you'll hear back from them if they Seriously, like we learned it the hard way, so just remember this: any any scholarship, any interview, any exam, this is applicable. Okay, I guess we can end now. There are no more questions. And like, don't hesitate if you are like wanting to ask something or you're shy or anything. It's fine. Um, yeah, I think we can stop recording now. At least if somebody shy because of that. Just stop recording.